people from this facility to another facility about uh, 10 minutes away from here. And the reason being, as you can see, we are in a school, so eventually the school will need its facilities to get ready for the kids to come back to school. Uh, but what we have done, we have split, we had about 304 displaced person, pa people, and about, which were about 90 households. So what we have done, we have split it into two groups. There were those before the water, the flooding, were renting their, the, the homes they were in. So those ones have agreed that we, we have helped them, we have come together helped them with rent for three months. Our death toll is now at 58. Initially it was 55, came 56 for a reason there. Now we have the two, so we have 58 confirmed dead. We still have 32 missing, but obviously when the two are identified, perhaps the number will reduce to maybe about 30. And what is now happening is a lot of areas that we had thought were probably safer are no longer very safe. So what we are doing in combined effort with those mapped areas, with our administration, led by our county commissioner, the chiefs, the DOs and all that, is making sure that those people, those families in areas that are not safe are being asked to move to safer areas because we do not want to have this sort of a tragedy again and especially when we all know what can happen out of that kind of a disaster. <laughs> Na tunaogopa kuna damu iko pale kuna pale magena pale matches tunaambia watu wajichunge kwa sababu hiyo ikivunja bado itakuja area hii kwa hivyo ni vizuri watu wajichunge kiona serikali msemo wa serikali ni kwamba hata hakuna shule na 